Hello lovely people, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. I hope you are well and I hope you've got some sewing done wherever you are in the world this week. Today I bring you something a little bit different. I don't know about you, but hmm, the weather has been a little changeable to say the least in old England. So I've been, hmm, what do I sew next? I don't want to think that summer is over. In fact, summer's hardly even turned up. So, um, you know, I'm still thinking about shorts, I'm still thinking about linen, and then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna see what the high street is telling me. What are the shoppers of the Great British Isles buying right now? So, I actually don't go shopping very often. In fact, I don't go shopping at all. I mean, why would you? Why would I, rather? Have you seen my wardrobe? Mm, no, you haven't, but you know what's in it. So I, uh, I've gone for a little bit of inspiration. So where does someone like me, who has a wardrobe absolutely bulging, sort of full of me-made clothes, where do I go shopping? Well, actually, I really like the boutique style and the shops that I would go to and have been to, to have a mooch around and a look and see what's happening. And they are, um, so I've got some notes with me today so I don't forget anything. Um, so I love Monsoon. So Monsoon is a high street brand. There are not as many high street shops as there used to be, but it's a lovely floral, boho, reasonably high quality or high quality, middle to top end price point, I suppose, um, but uh, everyday wearable clothes, normally in lovely bright colours, quite yeah floral, and they also have a great deal of accessories as well. So Monsoon, I've been having a moocher there. Phase 8, absolutely love Phase 8. Now I'll be honest, in, in my past life, my before sewing life, Phase 8 would have been my go-to shop for a more formal wear or a wedding outfit, that sort of thing. So I've been having a look at phase eight. Mint velvet, now, I was a mint velvet aholic. I really was. Um, the only thing about mint velvet these days, and I think it was the same before, is they have a very neutral color palette. In fact, I'd say all of these stores have a very neutral color palette right now. And although I'm quite muted tones today, I'm a brighter girl than Mint Velvet would allow. However, I absolutely love the star lines of Mint Velvet and I always draw inspiration from whatever they're getting up to. So I've got some thoughts on that coming. The old seagulls are going for it today. They always do, especially when I start filming. And then my last place, and probably one of my favourite places to get inspiration from, is Bowdoin. Um, and obviously they're, they're worldwide, of course. And Bowdoin are well known for their colours, their designs, and just their wearability. Um, for me, their price point is a bit... But I do think they have some amazing items. So, what I have done is I've had a mooch through and I've taken some screenshots, because that was the easiest way of doing it, of the items that inspired me in my whatever do I sew next, where am I getting my inspiration from? And I really will say that I've gone middle of the road here um, in terms of they're not high summer, they're not autumnal, they're very transitional items so that you can choose some things that will be perfect for right now or see you through the next few months. So without further ado, let me work my way through. Oh, that nearly rhymed, didn't it? Okay, so I have got some notes here. So let's kick off with Monsoon, because that's who I mentioned first. And the item that drew me, in fact, I think I've got a couple of versions of this, maybe in a couple of different stores, is this. Now, this is a beautiful co-ord set. You know I love a co-ord. Absolutely love the star lines of this. Love the simplicity of the white top there, the white background with the beautiful pinks and like mint greens and so on. I love what they've done with the pattern placement on the front. I think that would be quite hard to replicate in a me made wardrobe. We can't find fabric that has a sort of different top than a different bottom. But you could, if you were lucky enough, find a border print and then you could definitely play with that. So if you had the border print on your salvages, for example, you would um, 
pattern brace that's, that's down the front of your uh, shirt. And then you could put that same pattern placement on the bottoms of the trousers, for example. So I think that would be absolutely amazing. But I love, love, love this look. It's kind of like a pyjama day wear look, isn't it? But you know I love a cord. Actually, I meant to pick up the fabric that I had in mind to make something with this. It, um, I had, uh, from last week's video, you may remember, I've got a, a purple viscose with a beautiful white, um, sort of leafy and, and flowery pattern print on it. And I think this would be brilliant to replicate that. And the two patterns that I have in mind for you to help replicate this look, the first one um, is the Tamara set, and that's from Sw um, Swim Style Patterns. I'll put a picture of that here. This is a relatively simple pattern to make. It's got a really nice um, Revere collar on it, so a sort of camp collar, so nothing too tricky about that. And then a really nice pair of wide leg trousers that I believe have got pockets, everybody's essential. And the Tamara set comes in sizes X, F, X, extra small, sorry, to 11 XL. So a really, really good size inclusive range. There are PDF patterns on the, um, on the swim style patterns. And in a couple of weeks time, I'll be able to actually report on you, uh, for you on what the swim style patterns are like to work with. Because I'm actually in the middle of making the Andy set, which again is another cohort. Oh, you know, I love them. But I just think this Tamara set is perfect to recreate the look or so the trends of this sort of day wear pajama set. The other option that I've chosen for you, and I'll put a picture in here, is from Matchy Matchy Sewing Club. Relatively new pattern company to me, although a number of uh, my friends have been making some beautiful items from there. And actually this is quite on trend because it's got this bows feature that is all the way down the front that you've recently seen on the nail dress and also is it the fleur dress and the nail from Tilly and the Buttons, Fleur from Go Fabric Godmother. But the Matchy Matchy Sewing Club has got this ruffle brunch set. And there's a few more details on here than the simplized version um, from Monsoon. And, but you could, you could pick and choose what you wanted to add. So as the ruffle brunch set would suggest, you've got a ruffle, um, you've got a ruffle on the top and you've got a ruffle on the bottom of the trousers. And as said before, you've got these lovely bows that go down through the center. You could choose to make this out of a linen, a nice weight cotton, or something a bit more slinky, um, like a viscose, or even, oh, even a silk. Um, that would be very, very nice indeed. Um, I, I would express caution on um, both the swim style uh, Tamara set and this brunch set. I think there would be fabrics that you would look like you were wearing pyjamas. So I'm just going to express caution on that, that you would need to choose your pattern, your fabric well, but oh, so wearable, so stylish and bang on trend. Great, great fun. Um, I then went into phase eight. As I say, um, phase eight for me used to be sort of more like a wedding day attire, you know, as in not my own wedding, but as if I was a guest or something like that. But they do have some really wearable day wear as well. In fact, that's the point. And the item that I really was drawn to here was this beautiful uh, jumpsuit. Um, let's have a look here. Actually, this I think there's two jumpsuits. Yes, yeah, there is. So they, they're both beautiful, but this one is more of a day wear jumpsuit and it's got a crossover on the front and lovely wide legs. Looks to me like they've made this in a viscose, so that would be easy to replicate. Um, and as I said before, there isn't a lot of colour on the high street right now um, from what I could see, which I thought was really curious because, yeah, well, normally at this time of year we're all about the colours, but they've, they've chosen to go for sort of a navy and white um, design with this one. And the two, two patterns that I had in mind for you to help um, you to sew the look or recreate the look is the assembly one, and I'll put again a picture in here, the assembly line patterns. I've got a wide leg jumpsuit. Now, what I really liked about this is there's no belt on this jumpsuit. Now, I appreciate on the version in the shop, there's a belt and a belt can hide a multiple of sins and actually help draw, you know, define your waist. That's lovely, but also, I do find with a jumpsuit, when you're taking a natural break, what do you do with a belt? Do you put it around your neck? Do you put it on the floor? Um, 
So I quite like the idea that this jumpsuit didn't have a belt, but still looks cinching, cinched in enough to not, wor not worry about it. Now the assembly line pattern comes from extra small to 3XL and please I will leave links to all of the patterns below and you can head on over and check out the size range of that but extra small to 3XL is probably size inclusive um, and I just think this would be lovely and again depending on what fabric you wanted to make this up in you really could go to town on how this looks very exciting. Of course, I'd be crazy not to mention the Zadie jumpsuit to replicate this style. Who doesn't love a Zadie? Uh, I've got quite a few in my collection. Do you know, I don't think I've made a Zadie now for about three or four years. Where have I been doing? Oh, I've sewn quite a lot of other things, that's true. But I do love a Zadie jumpsuit and this replicates that style from phase eight very, very well indeed. I will put the stock photo here of the Zadie. I know you know about it. And the Zadie, it comes in a size six to 28. Again, all the details are available over on the Paper Theory website, but two fantastic options to replicate that crossover jumpsuit. The other jumpsuit that caught my eye in phase eight is this stunning number. Now this is definitely more like um, wedding guest attire. Oh, love the sort of, uh, the high neckline on here, the beautiful accentuate of the arms and the waist. Oh, looks to me like they've made this in some sort of silk and it's called the Susanna Silk Jumpsuit. So yeah, uh, it looks like it's in a very nice fabric indeed. And the two patterns that I thought about when I saw this design, one is from Maison Fauve. So there's some imagination required here, but I think some of the features are incredible, incredibly similar. And the jumpsuit that I was looking to rep recreate this look on is the Lutz jumpsuit. So again, I'll put the stock photo in here. And this comes in sizes, European sizes, no, English sizes, six to 24. And you get lots of options for your money here. So you can make a little play suit, you can make it wide legs. There's this beautiful cutout section that you can go for. I think you can add frills. There's all sorts of different options here. And obviously based on what fabric you make this out of, you'd be able to recreate this look really, really well. I think I would probably not go for a silk but I possibly would go for a beautiful um, drapey crepe. I think that would sit really well and hang beautifully in this style. You'd also be able to um, make the most of the uh, pleats and detail work that's available on the looks there. And if you did, did decide to go for the ruffle, I think that would sit really, really well. Absolutely love that jumpsuit. And the other option, um, has got loads of options with it and I don't often talk about big four patterns actually but the pattern that caught my eye is the McCall's pattern and that's the M7910 again I'll put the picture up here and this kind of comes in two size bandings you got a 6 to 14 and a 14 to 22 and look at the number of options you get here I've to put a, I'll pop a couple of screenshots in here um, and there's a particular um, version that's got that halter neck um, style that is very, very similar to the original phase eight jumpsuit, the Susanna silk jumpsuit that I was referring to there. But you get loads of different options. So that would see you, see you through for months ahead in terms of um, what sort of jumpsuit that you wanted to make. I think that would be fabulous. So the next the next shop that I went into was Mint Velvet. Now, I don't know if it's because of the colour scheme and um, the sort of the, the, the very natural tones that they have at this at all times of year, but the one thing that I picked up on here, which is perfectly timed, is this beautiful skirt. Oh, look at this. In the sequins as well, which I just thought was brilliant. Uh, I could just see this dressed up, dressed down, just thought it was lovely you could wear this with pumps with sandals oh i love it i love it love it um and oh perfectly timed because last week maison fauve released their latest free pattern yeah you heard me it's a free pattern and once again it is absolutely stunning so i shared a little bit of details with you about this last week 
And let me put some screenshots in here. First one is lovely Emily wearing the, the lovely mini skirt that she's made. And she's actually made it out of the jacquard fabric that I've got a lovely pilar jacket out of. But the second picture I'll put up here is the line drawings. And I've actually got the skirt here um, to show you because um, I'm, I'm going to be making this. Um, so the most on faux patterns come in a size 6 to 24. Let me just pop that down there for a second. And what is amazing about this skirt is, I'm just going to move my pattern pieces around a little bit, is this brilliant style line. So you've got basically a, um, a panel that sits. Let me hold it up and I'll explain it. You've basically got a panel that's got a sort of an edge on it like that. So that's the top half, if you like, and then the bottom half sits there. So you've got this section that comes across the top. The line drawings are going to explain that better than I can. But how lovely is that? So I've chosen um, to make mine out of the denim. So I thought that would be really, really beautiful um, wearable. And this is, um, I made, I'm pretty sure I made the Bianca flight suit out of this. And this is a remnant left from that. It's very, very dark blue. But... In that section, uh, hopefully I've left the screenshot up there, um, you'll see that you add a binding. Oh, how nice is that? So I bought some of this and actually this um, they sell this on the May Sun Fauve website as well, um, but their own version. I'm going to put a sort of metallic silver beading in that front panel. Amazing. Um, you can make a lined or an unlined version and there's a full sew along um, available for both versions, which is just genius. And I'm going to read out to you some details, actually, because um, there is a competition running. So you remember uh, last year or maybe earlier this year, actually, um, they ran a, a competition for the pom pom waistcoat coat, uh, which was their last free pattern. And I absolutely adore that. So well drafted, such beautiful design and a free pattern. It's brilliant. So the, the competition is running from the 16th of July to the 3rd of September. So you've got a really nice long time um, in which to plan. And you actually, um, so it's an Instagram um, challenge. So you would need to take a picture of your skirt in that time scale. And then obviously tag in Maison Fauve and also put the hashtag of the grenadine um grenadine say hashtag grenadine free pattern and let me pop that on there um and you basically will be putting a prize in the draw then to receive all of their brand new patterns from their le rivage collection which is coming out in september can i just say to you that i have say i have seen the patterns in this next collection and they are absolutely heavenly it's all I can say, you won't be disappointed. They are amazing. Again, so chic, so wearable, so different to what everybody else is designing right now. I don't know how she does it. They're absolutely superb. And you also, so not only would you win all of the patterns out of the collection, but you'd also win a hundred pound voucher towards the fabrics, brand new fabrics that go along with that collection. Oh, and then three lucky people also will be popped into the draw to win a um, pattern of their choice from that new collection. So it's just a win-win situation, really. So the grenadine, grenadine skirt um, from Maison Fauve, which is free, oh, totally replicates the mint velvet skirt that I am lusting after. Um, and this is the denim one I've got um, in mind, but I've also got some wool and a lovely lining left over. Can't wait, make some, can't wait to make a winter version but that is lined. A couple more patterns I wanted to share with you um, and love this, just love this. This is the Bowden V-neck top. Oh, it's so stylish but so beautiful and I love what they've done with the neck binding, ironically in a metallic jersey or ribbing that is. And the pattern I've chosen for this is a pattern we used to talk about quite a lot on YouTube. Um, and it is the Vera pattern. Again, another free pattern. And that is from Forget, from Forget Me Not Patterns. Uh, this runs in a size, let me see here, size 28 to 56. That's European sizes. And you get loads of different options with this. In principle, it's a V-neck jersey top but it's got beautiful cuffs, long, deep cuffs on it with a nice billowing sleeve, 
or you can do straight sleeves or you can do um there's like a a cone um yeah like a a cone shaped sleeve i don't know what you call that but it's beautiful and it's free and it would perfectly replicate that bowden style top um, and i just thought that was really important to pop a really simple basic um, that is what is available on the high street right now and then the last set of patterns i've got to show you is a sort of a picture in one if you like because i just loved everything about this and again this is from bowden um, actually it's not the last there's one more to go after this but this whole outfit I would just love to replicate please um so you'll know immediately that you've got the fear trousers from tilly in the buttons and the tear um, tilly in the button patterns come from a size 1 to 15 which i do know is a really good size size inclusive range um an alternative to that would be the wide leg trousers now, i'm actually wearing the fear trousers today um you know i love the tilly in the button fear trousers and in case you're wondering this is the be mine top by um, uh, Pattern Emporium um, and it made it out of a sort of Georgette fabric that I got a long time ago so I'm sorry this isn't available anymore but this is the Be Mine top with the Thea trousers. An alternative to the Thea trousers would be the wide leg trousers from Peppermint magazine and you know that I recently made those but I just love those so I will be putting screenshots here of both of those options for you to choose. So you basically, to recreate that picture, could have the, uh, the Vera top on the top half, just slightly adapted, but it also comes with a scoop neck as well, so easily could replicate that look. I didn't write it down yet, but the, the vest top, sort of a gilet um, thing that they're wearing in the picture, swim style patterns have got one of those, um, so you could easily pick that up from there. But I just love everything about that little outfit. I think it's really cool. And then the last thing is this Bowden shirt dress. Oh, finally, some real pop of colour as well. Just love this. And I immediately thought of the Tilda, Tilda shirt dress from Atelier Jupe. I actually made one of these a few years ago. If I can find a picture of it, I'll pop it in here. But what a beautiful dress. It's had a really simple style, but the, let the fabric do all the talking as they have in the Bowden version. I just think that's lovely. Another option that a lot of people will already have um, is actually the Lyra shirt dress from Tilly, Tilly and the Buttons. Um, so I should have said the shirt, the Tilly shirt dress comes from a, a, in a size 6 to 24 from Atelier Jupe. And then the, um, the Lyra shirt dress um, from Tilly and the Buttons is again a size 1 to 15, which is Tilly's own size range. Um, and again, very inclusive. Oh, I just, I really, really enjoyed looking at the inspiration on the high street right now. I hope you've enjoyed that too. Let me know in the comments below which of those you would be making. Um, and I do all, th I think all of them are very transitional, perfect for the on off sunshine that we're having right now. So, uh, and let me know what you think of the new free pattern from Maison Faux. And if you've not been onto the Maison Faux site before, their range of free patterns is absolutely amazing. It's true that I'm an ambassador for them, but everything about what I say for, um, for all of the pattern companies actually, but in particular for Maison Faux, because I've got a lot of experience with making their patterns. They are superb. So have a lovely week. I hope you have get some time to you know, be inspired by all of that. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know where you are in the world because it just brings such joy to my life. Until next, next week, everybody, take care. Bye.